Hey guys! So I thought I'd just do a really quick video and tell you about my team meeting that I just had. I had a lot of questions um, when I did my workshop for juggling sprinkles um, about how I had mentioned that I do Facebook meetings via Facebook. Now there's a couple different reasons that I do my videos that way. First of all, I have a team that is spread out in different states and different time zones. So it's really hard to get everybody together. Obviously, those consultants are going to miss out on our live meetings that we do. We do live meetings usually every other month. Um, I kind of try to correspond it with rally months. Um, and then I was doing phone conferences, but the phone conferences, I wasn't getting as great of a turnout as I was, um, you know, in, in the past. So I needed to come up with something different. Um, I had checked into live stream, and I'm going to, I'm still keeping my options open as far as that goes. Um, but from what I can see so far in live streaming, it's a lot of them messaging, typing to me, and me responding as I am now. And I really want to be able to keep that that sisterhood, that, you know, that bond of my team together. So I thought I would try Facebook meetings. And I've been doing, um, I've done quite a few of these lately. And the success that I have with them has been crazy. Crazy, crazy good. Um, so I really enjoy them. It allows my team to talk to each other. And that is so important for me because I want those out-of-state girls and that local girls to feel that sisterhood. I want them to know each other. And I want them to know that just because they're in a different state doesn't mean that I love them less, you know, or that they're not a part of a team because they totally are. Um, so that's kind of how, why I do team meetings um, and how I do them. I do them like um, a regular Facebook party. Now, I do my Facebook parties different. I do not have a two-week long or longer Facebook meeting. And if you're on my team, you know that I don't like those. <laughs> um, so it is on live time. So I set the time for 8 o'clock, and that's when we go with it. Usually I like to keep it about half an hour just because I know my team, you know, have busy lives too. I usually don't do a weekday. Um, I usually do Sunday night, but this really worked out. I had a lot of people um, on my meeting tonight, so I guess it really doesn't matter whenever works for you um, as far as when you have it. So my meeting went about an hour. I started at 8 o'clock and I opened up with a Flippergram video, which Flippergrams are like totally cool. <laughs> if you haven't checked out Flippergram, you, you have to. You're going to want to Flippergram everything. <laughs> um, I started with a Flippergram video, which I have shared. I have uploaded on this page so you can see mine. It's just all of the pictures from me reunion, kind of recapping the amazing time that I had and all the memories that I caught on um, camera. And so I had them watch that while I finished um, getting my prep done for my meeting. Um, ahead of time, I went ahead and did YouTube videos, and I think it's important to throw YouTube videos in there so then they can see your face. That is so important that you still keep that contact with them. And for my out-of-state girls, this is the only way that I get to see them, So, or they get to see me and hear my voice. So I throw some videos in there. Um, I did videos over the flyers that we got about um, reunion next year in Vegas and kind of explaining to them you know, how this is all going to work, how much to spend for, um, the challenge, um, you know, we've kind of talked about that, and then I did a video also um, explaining the incentive trip, because most of my team wasn't um, around for when the incentive trip began last year, so I did videos on those. Um, we did a giveaway, we just kind of, you know, I posted pictures of the different slides from Reunion, um, I asked questions, they respond, it's just like if I was, actually I think it's more interaction than when I was on the phone because when I was on doing my phone conferences, it was just me for 30 minutes, who has any questions, okay, good night. So actually I think I'm getting more team interaction, um, you know, with these Facebook um, events that I'm doing. Now I do do them as an event. I do them within my team group. It just seems a little bit easier for them. Um, to stay up to date with everything. So just within my group, I do an event um, and do it that way. I don't do a closed, another closed group because I already have them in one group. And so I just do that event um, within that. Um, and that's just about it as far as, um, you know, my team meetings go. And I just, 
I really, really love them. I, I just, again, I really like my girls to bond together. Um, and this seems to be a great way to do it. So I just thought I'd do a video and kind of explain to you how I did my meeting tonight. And so maybe you can get some ideas. I know many of you um, told me, you know, I have girls. I just they're out of state. It's hard to track everybody down for a, a right time. And and I, I totally get that. And so this is the next best thing that I can do to provide to my girls to make them sure that, you know, they, they get their lovings from their pink zebra mama. Um, so anyways, if you have any questions, you guys can always feel free to add me on Facebook. All of my information of how to track me or hunt me down is all on my main page. So make sure you go there um, and all my information is right there to get a hold of me. You can message me or email me, whatever. And if you need help kind of getting ready for your first um, team meeting, you can always let me know too and I will... I will give you some pointers on what to do and where to go and how to do it. So hopefully that helps you and hopefully you can get that bond back with your team doing some Facebook meetings.